Retool Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Retool. Retool is an incredible low-code platform that enables you to quickly build custom applications without the need for extensive coding or development experience. It offers a user-friendly interface, a range of pre-built components, and an intuitive drag-and-drop functionality, making it accessible to users of all skill levels. If you're seeking a low-code platform for your mobile or web application development needs, Retool is definitely worth exploring. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of Retool, including the process of creating and customizing your own mobile app. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Retool, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, you will find a prominent button that says Try Retool for Free. Click on this button to begin the account creation process. Upon clicking the button, you will be taken to the registration page. Here you have two options for signing up. You can either use your Google account or sign up with your email address. Choose the option that suits you best and proceed accordingly. After selecting your preferred sign up method, you will be prompted to personalize your account. Provide your full name and select the domain for your organization. This step helps customize the experience within the Retool platform. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the personalization process. Once you have personalized your account, you will be directed to the Retool Editor by default. However, if you wish to access the dashboard, navigate to the top left corner of the Editor interface. You will find three dots representing a menu. Click on these dots to reveal a drop-down menu, and from there, select the Back to Home option. This action will redirect you to the Retool dashboard, where you can manage your projects and workflows efficiently. When you access your account dashboard in Retool, you will notice that it has a simple layout. The top menu consists of several tabs that provide different functionalities. The Apps tab displays all the apps that you have built in Retool. Within this tab, you can access recent apps, starred apps, modules, and even apps that have been moved to the trash. It serves as a central hub for managing and organizing your applications. In the Resources tab, you have the ability to create new resources. This tab also showcases the resources you have already created, making it convenient to locate and manage them efficiently. The Database tab is where you can view user details such as their name, email addresses, sign-up dates, and roles. Additionally, you have the option to import users, streamlining the management of user data within Retool. Within the Query Library tab, you can find and access the queries you have created. This tab also allows you to create new queries. Queries enable your components to read or write data from various data sources. Retool supports querying most databases as well as any API providing flexibility in data retrieval and manipulation. The Workflows tab displays the existing workflows that you have created. Here you can get an overview of your workflow processes and easily access and manage them. To create a new workflow, simply click on the Create New button within this tab. Overall, the Retool dashboard provides a user-friendly interface with intuitive tabs that allow you to manage your apps, resources, databases, queries, and workflows effectively. Now, let's see how to build a new app in Retool. To start building a new app in Retool, ensure that you are on the Apps tab within the Retool dashboard. Once you have navigated to the Apps tab, locate the Create New button located on the right side of the page. Clicking on this button will prompt a drop-down menu to appear, offering various creation options. Since we want to build a mobile app, we will select the Mobile App option from the drop-down menu. Upon selecting this option, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter the name of the app you are creating. Fill in the desired name in the App Name field, and then proceed by clicking the Create App button. After clicking the Create App button, you will be redirected to the Retool Editor. This is the main workspace where you can design and develop your app. The Retool Editor provides a visual interface and a range of tools and components to build interactive and functional applications. The Retool Editor interface is designed to be user-friendly and straightforward. On the left side of the editor, you will find the screens and components of your app. This allows for easy navigation and organization of different parts of your application. In the center of the editor, you have the main canvas where you can create and customize your app, visually designing its layout and functionality. At the top center of the editor, there are three panels, the left panel, the bottom panel, and the right panel. By clicking on the right panel, it will appear on the right side of the editor, providing additional functionality and options. When developing an app, you will typically need to edit and customize multiple screens within your app. 
To demonstrate this process, you can move to the left menu and select the first screen of your app. Once selected, it will appear on the main canvas, allowing you to make modifications and adjustments. To edit the components of the app screen according to your preferences, simply click on the specific component you wish to modify. Clicking on a component will open it in another window within the main canvas providing you with detailed information about that particular component. For example, if you click on an image, text, or numerical element within the component, it will open the right panel, presenting you with various options to edit and customize the selected content. Let's say you click on the image component. This action will open the right panel, providing you with options for editing. If you wish to change the image itself, navigate to the image source section within the right panel and click on upload. From there, you can upload an image from your computer. Once the image is uploaded, you have the ability to adjust its ratio, fit it to the screen corners, and make other modifications as needed. Similar to images, text components can be customized by clicking on the text element within the app screen. This action will open the right panel, which offers various options for modifying the text. You can choose to hide or show the item, change the header, adjust the layout, and more. Utilize these options to tailor the appearance and behavior of the text within your app. You can follow the same method to customize other components within your app screen. Once you have finished customizing your app using the demonstrated method, you can preview it by clicking on the Preview button. This allows you to see how your app will look and function before sharing it with others. If you are satisfied with your app, you have two options for sharing it with others. Firstly, you can copy the link to the app and share it with others so they can view it. Alternatively, you can click on the Invite Users button, which opens up a pop-up window. In this window, you can enter the email addresses of the people you want to invite and then click on the Invite Users button. This allows you to invite specific individuals to access and interact with your app. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Retool. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this video helpful and gained valuable insights into using Retool to create mobile applications. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and